Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So behind me is a dump trailer, and uh, Leah said, Steve, why are you working on a dump trailer when you got a house to build? Well, because that's a key pin for building a house. If I'm going to use earth bag, I got to move earth. And that means I got to dig some ponds. And to move the dirt from the ponds, I'm going to use the, the uh, $600 dump trailer that I picked up that has a brand new $600 uh, hydraulic pump system in it. What it doesn't have brand new is the uh, the piston, the ram to raise the dump trailer. It's I did hook battery to it and it did run, it works, but it does leak so bad that it won't ever, uh, won't ever raise anything. So I don't care to get killed working on this thing. So uh, I've got some redneck boards up there holding it up. I've got these as my fail safe if it falls down. And then I'm gonna fire that up and lock the uh, hydraulics on it so that it'll come down, it'll, it'll hit that. So we'll get working on it here. You can always tell when a guy's serious about working on something greasy when he wears all white. Sometimes, <laughs> old. Uh, everything in here, everything in here is old farmer Bill. So I'm in trouble right away. I took a look at those welds. The way they made those pins not fall out is they just, took a stick welder and just welded a bunch of crap on the end of the, the rods. I think, look at that, those bolts that are in there. They're not actually holding it. They were stuck in there and then welded to. So that was their, their weld gaps in there. No grease anywhere. So no grease certs anywhere. I might drill and tap and put some grease certs in there so I can grease that. Grease that. Uh, I don't know. That's quite the something. No, uh, you know, there's not any uh, plate in there. But listen, that angle iron, that's still good solid angle iron. How about these shocks? These shocks, man. This dirt's going to get the best ride possible. Those shocks got some life left in them, I think. But uh, I think, I put this up on the internet, nobody replied to me. I think it's a scissor kit uh, from the 70s and that this dump trailer has seen some stuff. So, uh, but nonetheless, the ram was all worn out. Of it. I tried to find some numbers just to look it up. I just need to find, I'm not going to find it. What I need is the stroke. I think I'm going to put in something that will do, uh, you know, 3,000 pounds or more. And, uh, you know, I'll try to do the same ca uh, capacity uh, ram as well as the same size piston. I don't know if it's a two-stage or a single stage. I honestly don't don't know anything about it. But I do know I don't want this giant man killer to come down on me while I'm working on it because a cow comes by and bumps into it and cut me in half. So let's fire that up, get this whole thing ready, and uh, I'll see if I can pull the couple of bolts that I see that might be holding it all together. And... Um, See if we can get that done while I'm wearing a white t-shirt. So let's see if I get my t-shirt dirty. Right out of 10,000 ways to kill a farmer. I watched Final Destination. I know what happens here. What happens here is Steve puts these forks and locks them with the lock here. And then between all those safety devices, those 2 by 4 safety devices, I'll be all right. Check one. OSHA approved safety device in place, everybody. Now I shouldn't get killed. Now I shouldn't get killed. All things are possible, though. I get squirished, y'all. Call 911. I have a safe word. How about, uh, I've been cut in half. That'll be my safe word. Hat me, I'm cut in half. 916th down there, you think? Oh, it's American. Oh no. Oh no, look at this little teeny tiny mini. Whoo, we will try it and see. I hope the bolt doesn't go all the way through. Well, all right. time to get something real, but we know that's 916th. What's this up here? That's a square. Those are square bolts. Uh, and this is all welded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to be using an angle grinder before all this is done. 
think I'm gonna cut that pin off there. Whatever that gob up stick welded nonsense is. Pull that through once I get that bolt off. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I see the hydraulic line, I'll take that off too. Let me go get a big breaker bar. I, I knew I need a big breaker bar, but I don't think these hold anything. Now ain't that special, that there's a 15, but I know that's 9 16 right there. That's a three quarter, so I have a 15 mixed with the three quarter, mixed with the 13 16 back down to an 11 16 I don't have a 9 16 that size. And who put metric in my toolbox? Who did that? You know what, that suddenly looks like it's a 15 to me. Let's try that there 15, see how that works out. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Y'all know that. Yeah! Yeah! Well, I don't know if it just spun around on there. I actually broke something loose. Sure does feel like I'm a mouse in a mouse trap. I don't I think it's I think it's spinning around and around and around in there. Let me feel. Let me feel. Yeah. Everything's gonna be difficult on that, isn't it? Looky here, Internet, I went back in my toolbox and find a, I found the right socket right here. Let's, uh, let's turn this socket loose on there. Like that's true. Let's see if we can cut that nut off of there. Yeah, we sure did. Let's cut the other side too. Make it a little easier. How easy these pound off of here. I don't think I'm not gonna. Oh, ah, yeah! I'm getting that off of there. It's right when I was getting ready to give up. Nothing a little cold chisel can't do. And farmer welds are never very good. Sometimes I'm happy about that. The right way to have done that maybe would have been to drill some holes with hardened steel and put a D-ring in there. I don't know. Feels like he used just some old pipe he found around. See a couple of Little pieces sticking up. Let me just grind them off so I can get it back through.
Not quite. I need to refine that a little bit. Or I can pull it through. Just like they and the welder one. All right, that feels like it'll come out. an old piece of pipe welded on there. Let's see here. What have we got going on here? That's not too heavy. That's not too heavy. That's not too heavy. Well, I'm going to get that out of there before it's dangerously dark. Get the dangerous job done before it's dangerously dark. That feels good. I'm not worried about any hydraulic pressure left over inside of that because quite frankly, I know it leaks so bad there's no way there's any hydraulic pressure in there. Five eighths, y'all think? No, I am of the opinion since I am not responsible for tools that buying high-end tools to do stuff for me Nah, I just, I just get them all mixed up and lose them. All right, that looks like a good work surface to me. Put that safety thing right there. Oh, Black Widow, you see it crawl out? Y'all see that nonsense trick? And I'm in flip flops. What in the Cartar Nation? Look at right there. Black Widow come to visit me while I'm working. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing. Right even ran out there to greet me. Yeah, me and Mr. Black Widow, we're not friends. I don't let him live. All right. Fifteenth time was the charm. You see me? How, how long was I working on this, this thing with that Black Widow right next to my neck? Oh, Texas. Well, there we go. There we go, we're all done. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I'm gonna clean everything up and put my tools away before it rains. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and I'm glad I, I, Black Widow didn't kill me. Bye.